Now what I'd like to do is create the subform, which I want to embed in my main form. So for this I'm going to click on the pledges table. And one of the forms we looked at earlier, which I said would become more important later, is a data sheet form. And this is particularly important when designing main forms and subforms. I'm going to click the Create tab in my ribbon, and I'm basically going to go to More Forms and choose Data Sheet. And here's my data sheet form. I then want to actually go into the design of this form, and I want to remove the layout, so I can individually customise the layout. So I'll go Control A, and then I'll right click, and I'll remove the layout under Layout, Remove Layout. That then allows me to delete certain fields. For example, I want to delete Pledge ID, Contributor ID, and Campaign ID. So I hold the control key and I select the three fields, and when I press the delete key, the labels will go with them. I can then move these fields on the right hand side, put them immediately below. And I can move all these fields up, and that's the layout of my data sheet. If I then view my form by going to Home and hitting the View button, I can see that I've got the particular columns I'm after. Now I may go back to Design because I want to change some of the form's properties, so I'll double click where the two rulers come together. The sorts of things I want to control are the scroll bars. At the moment the scroll bar property is on both, so it will show both scroll bars if necessary, but I want to change it that it shows me the vertical scroll bar only, so I double click the scroll bars property until it says vertical only or I could hit the drop down and choose vertical only. Now the navigation buttons are the wee triangles at the bottom that we typically see and navigate between records. I want to turn those off, so this navigation buttons property here which says yes, I'll double click till it says no. In record selectors I also want to set that to no. Now if I view my form by going back to the home tab in the ribbon and choosing view, I'll then just make sure all my column widths are as wide or as narrow as they need to be. And I just make sure that my data sheet form looks nice and clear for the reader. I'm now going to save this subform by hitting the Save button on my Quick Access Toolbar, and I'll save it as S for Sub, SFRM Pledge, and OK. And that's my subform created, so I'll just close my subform. So I have my main form, which is FRM Donor, and my subform, which is Pledge. Now I want to embed this Pledge form into the Donor form. 